but what can one can categorize existing work in two different groups. The first group tries to uh, replace the mobile phone, or basically re uh, the mobile phone replaces a digital camera. So the user goes around, takes pictures, pictures are transferred to a server where the 3D reconstruction is carried on. And the second group, um, one has tried to push basically the whole 3D reconstruction pipeline onto the mobile phone itself. This is of course also cool, but uh, also brings some drawbacks with it. So first of all, user is limited to uh, um, a very small scene around himself. And second, also um, 3D reconstruction algorithms are very uh, power hungry uh, algorithms. So this means it will drain the battery quite uh, fast and you might be able to scan one, two objects, but then not be able to take a call anymore. So this is where uh, our system jumps in. We try to treat like a mobile phone and the cloud as one single tightly coupled system, where, which enables us to basically uh, make a smooth transition uh, between what is done on the mobile phone itself and what is done in the remote cloud. Uh, a little bit more detail, we of course make use of the camera and the screen which are on the mobile phone but we also run a real-time slam on the phone itself capable of tracking the 60 degree of freedom pose of the phone and also doing the keyframe selection for us. We create a session model for each scan session which is shared among the mobile phone and the cloud. And in the cloud we have potentially a huge global model which um, has a lot more content than just a session model. These schemes allow us to introduce a load balancing, uh, task delegation and prior knowledge integration. So the load balancing is necessary uh, because the whole pipeline has to adapt himself to the environment. For example, if you're running low on battery, it's not really a good idea to run the system on full speed. Or if you're in a low connection area, you cannot transmit the images in high de definition at high frame rate. Um, task delegation is a different scheme, so it in, in enables us to um, to use the algorithms especially designed for 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 the appropriate tasks. So a fast um, feedback on a, or a coarse feedback on the model status can be given immediately and has to be calculated on the phone itself. But the much denser or more accurate model can be calculated on the, on the server and then once it's uh, available, streamed back to the, to the client. We can even st uh, take that one step further and can um, assign individual scene parts to specific algorithms. For example, if we detect that we have a face in a scene, we crop the face and model the face itself in a dedicated face space which is much more capable of, 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 of delivering visually pleasing results, which is very important for the user. Um, since we have a global model in the back, we can also show results to the user which he has not yet scanned. So he, he, the results might be from a previous scan session or might also be from a huge, huge database in, in the back. Uh, in addition, we can uh, come up with some intel intelligent view planning. We might tell the user, yeah, let's go around the corner because the backside of the building is not yet covered at all in the global model. And we can do that by showing him, for example, in, as shown here, with a heat map or another uh, visual guidance. So, thanks a lot.